All right, time to find a new wife. Sounds good. That's how that works. We don't have any other. Uh, we don't have anything in our inventory. <laughs> I just got all that stuff for nothing. Okay, you little bitch. Where the fuck are you? To put it like this, Flake, they basically were just infected. Um, and that's pretty much what happened by Evelyn. This kind of infected their bloodstream with mold. What was that sound? Dan, don't you hate when people tell you that it's all your fault? I like it when something good happens and it's all my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess, yeah, the good karmas. <laughs> Alright, we're finally off that ship. Holy Damn. ship. Ew. Wanna go fishing? You don't have to do much. Just pick them it's up. It's a helicopter. I thought that was a monster for a second. I'm like, no. How do you know it's not a monster driving the helicopter? I just thought the sound of it, helicopter was a monster. I heard they got, <laughs> I was like, is that a? All right, we're back. No, are we back up? Wait, what is this place? An oil rig? Am I supposed to be under the deck right now? Yep. There's no way in hell. Mm. There has to be like disgusting ass creatures living in here. I mean, considering what Ethan's already gone through this whole entire game. He's he was in that gross. Yeah. What is that? Corrosive? No, it's a helicopter. Carpet aerodynamics smooth, so my flow and so my groove, so my flow and so my move. I can't lose a lot to prove. Are they watching this from that helicopter? You've taken me as things. Yep, so now, now you can use that um, light machine gun if you want it. Oh, we have all that stuff? <laughs> Yep. We have a lot of stuff. Holy crap. I wasn't expecting to not have a boss fight. I just kind of went off entirely. It kind of feels like that there should have been one in the ship. Yeah, I agree. I thought I was going to fight Evelyn. Uh, so, Flake, for if you choose Zoe, you would... Instead of Mia letting you go with the uh, with the needle that she gave you, no, you would fuck. You would actually be fighting Mia again. Damn it. Oh, another one. The only thing I hate about that gun is that there's no grip to it, so literally you fire, you start to aim up. Yeah, that was just kind of hard to hit them with that. Whew, another one? I see another one. How many is it going to make me fight? Probably two more. Uh, you're right. <laughs> it was honestly a guess because I don't remember anything about normal mode very much, just Madhouse. Oh, there's another one coming. That was a lot. This place was infested. Oh shit. I just ate my. I've been eating my herbs in accident. <laughs> You ate your herbs on accident? I ate my herb on accident. Oh. That sucks. It it should be alright. You got three things of health. You'll be alright for a bit. Is that just for village? Because I thought it was seven too. But yeah, it might, it might, it might be right. It must be just for village. Oh, this goes down? I thought it went up. 
I know village we go is underground. Harder. Why not? You go uh, in sewers in Mario. What's the what's the difference? Everything. Anyway. Well, it's name one. What if they made a Mario game that was as scary as this? <laughs> and they just traumatized the whole generation. I would play it. I wasn't expecting this game to have so many different environments. Like, I thought they were really just committing to the house concepts, but then it's like, nope, this is actually kind of a different game. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a lot of lore to just this game by itself. Am I missing something? The monster behind you? Is there? Oh, there is. Two of them. It's actually a good idea that you're using the remote bombs instead of your shotgun, because the more shotgun shells you can save up, the better. You dead yet, buddy? Jesus. Dramatic much? Is that a heart? I thought I was a little poopy. <laughs> Uh-oh, monster didn't make it to the bathroom. Uh, is that where I go? I don't go of this. Oh, this is an elevator. Never mind. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. <gasps> I'm not falling for it. That was close. I was waiting to see if you were going to see it or not. <laughs> well, that's absolutely terrifying. Behind us? <gasps> Fuck you, bitches. I can't believe he came up behind me. That's so mean. Do you think it's because they heard us? Where did they even come from? They came from the tunnel you went through. You didn't miss them. They just sneak up behind you. Fuck this. Fuck you! Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck? Oh god. Uh. Uh. Oh, they're both still alive? Hurry up, hurry up. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on. Jesus. Oh my God. Fuck you. Stop moving. Jesus. <laughs> okay, well, we're still alive. That's a dead end. This is the worst environment ever. You want to know something funny about that situation? What? You could have used the rail cart to ram them to kill them. That would have been great. Yeah. <laughs> I did not even know that was there though, so. Oh, yeah. Hindsight's 2020. Hindsight's 2020. Anything else down here? Nope. Oh. I said that was an item I could pick up. See, this part wasn't so bad, right? 
It was the worst day of my life. What? It should be the best day of your life. Herb. Herb. This is this a safe room? <clears throat> no. Steroids. I love when I find casual steroids. I find it funny that they like put these in the game because in real life you see a needle you would never inject it, and then this game is like here, just put <laughs> this in your arm. <laughs> I feel like Resident Evil is one of those games that's purposely just trying to like not be a good example. What <laughs> gave you that idea? <laughs> Oh yeah. Wait, what does it want? Oh. Watch what happens to that skull. The skull over here. Yeah. You didn't see what happened, but it like kind of made it minimize a little bit. It drained the energy out of that and put it into that needle. Whoa. Necrotoxin. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E-Series bioweapon model. Only use for disposal of E-Series assets. This toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of an E-Series cells into the neurotoxin container. Okay, okay. I don't know if you're a big candle guy or not, but I love candles. And I got this vanilla cinnamon brulee one, and this smells really good. It does sound good. Mm -hmm. I like candles as much as the next guy. I love candles. I bought five at one point, and they were gone within like ten days, and I was kind of sad about it. Oh, no. All right. What's next for us and our poor, pathetic lives? I remember like as a kid, I used to hate candles a lot. Why? Uh, so I didn't understand adults when they're like, "Oh, candles are so nice," and I, I thought can I thought adults just liked candles just because of like the way they looked and stuff. I didn't think of like the scent they had. Uh, mm -hmm. And then when I moved into my house, my parents were like giving me ideas of like what I could do to always keep my house smelling nice because that's my biggest thing. And they're like, "Just get candles," and I was like, "Ugh, why?" And they're like, "Just get them." I'm like, "Fine." So I got candles, and now I love candles. Yeah, candles are great. Or wax burners, too. Oh, yeah, I got that, too. Is someone singing in here? <laughs> Is that Evelyn? Such a lovely voice. What the fuck? <laughs> Die. No. Fuck. Holy fuck. There's gonna be a lot of mold monsters fuck. in this area. There's herb. Did you make more health by chance? Yes. Okay. <laughs> god. Oh my god, stop! Fucking aim! I would go back to that room on the left after you kill him. What? There's a room to your left. One second. Finally. Nice headshot. About fucking time.
got burner fuel. I can't use that. Oh wait, or can I? No, I can't. I pick it up anyways, maybe. Uh, unless you don't, unless you plan on using the flamethrower at some point. <clears throat> I never liked the flamethrower. It's just not as effective, really. Out of bombs. Hopefully we're good. Good luck. Scared by my own shadow. <laughs> it's scary, you see his nose is big and looks like the monster. Well, you got two of those words, right? Holy shit. Who? No, not another one. Fuck, I hate these guys. And I'm out of bombs. I can go through stuff too? Are you joking? Come on. Maybe yeah, those have... guys, there are two weak points in their stomachs or their heads. Maybe I'll like, kill them? Ow. No. That sucks. Ow, fuck. God, I can't with these guys. Yeah, they're a nuisance. I'm in very critical condition. I can probably make some more stuff. I don't think I have time. Okay, let's see. Combine. Yep. Where's my last checkpoint? <laughs> Hopefully not like a save point. I don't think it's too far back. No, it's not. Okay. Ow. I think he killed one. I think so too. Nice, nice, got that big boy. I hate him. It's like the worst enemy in the game so far. Yeah, it is. And like, not in a fun way. I'm just glad you're not doing this in Madhouse. Because in Madhouse in this area, there's three of them. That's stupid. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Dead? No. Try using your last enhanced gun ammo around. Let's see if that does anything. My first aid. Um. Yeah, Ruga, I got the quest three. Yeah, it was a theory. drop anything? No? No, they don't drop anything. Now I have nothing. I guess I have more handgun ammo, but still. Uh, the quest Ooh. three, the quest three for the 128 gig version is 500 bucks, but if you want the 256 gig, that one's 650. 
I can't believe it's 3.30 a.m. What the hell? I'm it's just six? locked in. I'm just locked into the degenerate schedule. It's 6.30 for me? Sheesh. It's daylight out. <laughs> oh my god, really? Yeah. <laughs> what time does your work usually start when you do work? Uh, 3 p.m. Oh, okay, so that's why you're on a nocturnal schedule. Yeah. yeah. Nocturnal schedules are where it's at, in my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I tell. That's why I try to tell my parents, but my parents were like, "No, first shift's better." I'm like, "Nah, all my friends were up late at night." Why would first shift be better? In what world? <laughs> They're like, "Oh, so you can enjoy your evening?" I'm like, "I'd be doing the same thing regardless, playing video games." <laughs> <laughs> Mind map. Wow. Got them. I will say though, if there is anyone that's wanting to get a Quest 3, and if you play PC, just get the cheaper one that's 500 bucks, just so that way, because you're because you don't need to play on standalone if you're playing PC. I think it's a waste of an extra 150 dollars just for extra memory when you play PC. Where are we at now? No way. Does no this way. look familiar? You're joking. How? It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. We're back in the house. Congratulations, it's a grand ball. <laughs> <laughs> it sure is. Oh, it's this staircase. This is where she freaking cut off my arm. Yep. Oh, they're gonna make me relive that. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to face your traumas head on? Well, now you can, with flashbacks. Why am I seeing this? Ethan, it's okay. It's okay, it's me. Not again. You better not do it again. Oh, don't say it like that. Don't say it like that either. Then he can die. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. So that's why it all happened. Yep. That's why she was being bipolar as hell. Yep. That or it was something else. <laughs> that happens once a month. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! <gasps> what the hell? Please. She can't kill you. She can't? No, it's all flashbacks. Oh my god. Terrified me. I forgot she I tried to do that to us. I wouldn't shoot anything. Since okay. you're basically in flashback mode right now. <sighs> Ruka, she, um, she was possessed, yeah. But they're trying to explain, like, what led her to do this. Like, this is all of a flashback of basically Evelyn controlling her, telling her to do all this, uh, Ethan. Damn. Mm. What a weird way to relive it. <laughs> I can't believe I went through all this. No wonder I'm so traumatized every night I go to bed. Yeah. Thanks, Trevin, for the lifelong trauma. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, I told you to play this game in 2023. 2024, this ain't my problem anymore.
I'm just here for the ride. Anytime she does that wave block. No, you're going to school and you're going to like it. Eat your broccolini. Away from me. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no. No, no, no. In the head? Ooh. Effective. Killed the grandma. The grandma was Evelyn. This whole time she was around us. How she aged so quickly? Um. Unless that all happened way in the past. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, just keep shooting her in the face. Take this. This is disgusting. Graphics have come too far. Ow. She just ate us. Yeah, biomass is crazy. Shotguns to the faces it take. What's going on here? What in the world? She, like threw me out of the house. This boss fight is so amazing. What? Holy... What? Oh yeah, this boss fight is crazy. <laughs> Stay mad, ho. Stay mad. That's what you got. Trying to. Ow, she's smacking me. Ow. Is that impaling my leg? Yep. Poor Ethan. He's been through a lot. A couple things. Ow. Oh. Ooh. Dude, I'm That's, fucked up. That still gives me chills this day. I'm so fucked up. What is that? Albert O1. What is this thing? The best pistol, well, the second best pistol in the game. Good job, Tyler, you did it. Whew. I'm gonna start the quad sums. Quasan, you helped him. Yeah. 
I don't believe that it's over. That was way too easy. Are you sure? End of the night. Is that really the ending? Yep. Now they got the CIA here. It took y'all so long. He did their job for them. It's the grandma again. Redfield. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Redfield. He's a guy from Resident Evil Five. Resident Evil 5 is the other Resident Evil game I've beaten. I've beaten that one like 10 times for some reason, and none of the other ones. I've only played 7 and 8. Yeah. 5 is one of the best yeah. co-op games I've ever played in my life. I'm glad. Me and my best friend Jared used to play it every single year, like three times. No, I didn't know that game was co-op. Yeah, one of the best co-op games I've played in my life, straight up. I'll have to try it. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. And now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Fuck no. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Fuck Mia. Why? Just because she almost killed you? She, she did kill me. Practically. Mentally? Even if she was possessed by Evelyn. Credit sequence? What is this? Go tell and and Rolly. Go tell and Rolly. Everybody's dead. dead. Reminds me of the beginning of Trivia Murder Party now. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to your first challenge. Hello. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Does someone not turn on the power? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Tyler, how would you say your overall experience with, with uh, Rest 7 was? Dude, this game was really fun. I was impressed. It felt like a really good balance and difficulty. I was thoroughly challenged and scared. Those last two, like, throwing up guys being, like, the final actual challenge is kind of meh. <laughs> That's kind of underwhelming and annoying. No weird way for me to use up the rest of my ammo. <laughs> but apart from that, it's pretty sick. Pretty good story. Lots of interesting characters. Boss fights. It's crazy how big the house is. What would you say your favorite boss fight in this game was? Um, I wanted to see the part in the garage where he has the car. That's my favorite one too. 
even though I kind of messed it up from what I remember, I don't think I got it for a bit, but just the concept is really cool. Yeah. What's your least favorite boss? The chainsaw one inside the cage. That's your least favorite? Yeah, I, I died that time. to that one so many times. The mother was my least favorite. I don't think I minded the mother too much. On the swamp? Yeah. And the uh, old house with all the bugs? Yeah. Icky. Yeah. I hate her. She, she does not cover very well. This game really has so much packed into it, though. Is your DLC or anything? There is. On if this you game. Bought it? Yes. How do you access it? Uh, you have to buy it. If you didn't buy it already. And then if you have bought it, is it like just like a separate thing or? Yeah, so you just go to extras, and then there should be DLCs there. Yeah, this is a huge development team. This was made in Unreal Engine. I feel like all games are made in Unreal Engine or Unity nowadays. Mm-hmm. And a lot of ca character development, besides the face cams that they use, uh, a lot of them are used in Blender, too. You can skip the cutscenes if you don't... Or you can skip this if you don't want to watch all this. I'm vibing. Nice. I'm going to see how I, long the credits are. I think, honestly, the least favorite part... So I enjoy this game up till I get to the ship. And then once I get to the ship, I'm just like, I'm kind of bored now. Yeah, the ship kind of felt like it was dragging on at that point. Mm -hmm. I think at that point I was like kind of hoping for more of like a really awesome final boss and then ending. Mm -hmm. And then going on was just like, okay. I'm still not sure if the ending was like that satisfying. The, sh the whole ship part. Felt also, like, did you... felt like an inflated way to extend the game. And it wasn't even that scary overall. They really made Resident Evil Village way less scary because this game got so many complaints of it being way too scary. Really? Yeah. So basically, they made Resident Evil Village a little scary, but they just made it to where it's just more adventurous instead of focusing on the scary part. Yeah, I hit it with precision when I'm making decisions. Gonna turn it up by just raising a fader. Yeah, I aim to kill it. Gonna, 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 gonna run it, run it, run it. I can't get it off my mind, so I run it, run it, run it. Keep my focus, stay alive. I need.